uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, YouTube. I'm Bushgrim. Today's video is about the Honey Badger, the 762 AR that was introduced only very, very recently. But I think it's time to take a look back at what the Honey Badger has done in its first quarter of play and figure out whether it's a great weapon, a good weapon, or a weapon that's just a little bit misunderstood. And I think there is something from each of those columns that gets together to make the Honey Badger. I'm going to tell you the stats. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the weapon that you probably don't know, uh, how it should be used, uh, how a lot of people don't use it correctly, uh, and maybe, just maybe, you can come away from it with a bit of an appreciation for the gun itself and be better at the gun. Because I think this is a tremendously underrated weapon that doesn't get enough play. And I'm going to tell you why throughout the course of the video. We're going to spend some time on the range. Uh, I'm going to show you some gameplay footage. And obviously, I'm going to ask you to like the video and subscribe. Because if you like this kind of content, why wouldn't you like the video and subscribe? And if you have content you want to be made, leave a comment below and I'll do my very best to make it for you. Awesome. Let's kick this off. The first thing we're going to do is have a very quick look at the stats. And there's a few interesting ones with the Honey Badger that we need to talk about. Uh, and you'll see when we start going through the stats that the similarities for the Honey Badger are generally guns like the UMP not guns like the M416 or guns like the AKM. And it doesn't have any of the AKM's limb damage. It doesn't have any of the M416's bullet speed. What it has is a great hip fire to damage ratio. Like, that's a pretty good damn hip fire right there. That's a three person clear with 25 rounds out of a honey badger. 698 rounds per minute is the rate of fire, which is nearly identical to a UMP. 42.9 base damage is the best damage, which again is 0.1 off a UMP, which is 42.8. And 0.258 seconds is the time to clear a level two best. You guessed it. That's like nearly identical to a UMP. UMP is 0.255. Bullet speed. The bullet speed on the Honey Badger, while horrible for an AR, is excellent for an SMG at 666 meters per second. That's very, very quick. There's no SMG that comes even close. The limb damage is 19.3, which is not great for an SMG. And the damage to a level vest, uh, two vest is 25.74. That's an important number because that means that if you hit someone four times, the vest is cleared. Whereas if you hit someone under 25, you've got to hit them five times to clear a vest, which is important. So. What I'm telling you here is the reason I think the Honey Badger doesn't get so much play is not that it isn't a great gun. It's because it's not really competing with M416s. It's not really competing with AKMs. It's competing with UMPs, and UMPs are incredibly popular. Another thing people don't like is this animation. I love it uh, because they feel like it stops you from firing quickly, but it doesn't. You've just got to time it correctly. See, it feels like you can't fire until the gun is fully cleared out, but you can actually fire as soon as it comes to bear. It's quite easy. You'll see as soon as you get used to it, bang, you're firing straight away. So what I'm telling you is you've got to use it more in terms of hip fire, okay? And that means you're going to be doing a lot more of this. I mean, look at that. That's... That's a 7.62 AR, and people tell me it's got really tough recoil. No, an AK has really tough recoil. AK is pretty much the hardest uh, AR to control recoil-wise. Well, apart from a Famous, but no one's going to be using that thing anytime soon. But I can set an AK up to spray with a 3X, a 6X down to a 3. Like, uh, if you can do that with an AK, there is no way that the Honey Badger should be giving you issues. And I don't think the player base is all that good at experimenting let me show you what the player base hates about this gun i'm going to get the honey badger and i'm going to get the m416 and what people love about the m416 more than any other gun in the game is that if you lie prone it has no animation kick okay now if you're not going to use a honey badger as your priory because you love the ump or you want to run a dbs and you see this animation kick. See how the two rounds, the first two rounds, there's a huge jump. 
then you have a look at the M4. There's no jump. It doesn't jump. There's no jump. If you stand with an M4, you get an animation kick. And if you stand with a honey badger, you get an animation kick. And this is where, like, that's an animation kick. The only time you don't get it is when you're prone with an M416. Uh, there are other guns, but we're not going to go into that. And they look at this vertical recoil on the honey badger, and they're like, that's crazy. That vertical recoil is too high. You can't control it. Bollocks. You can absolutely control this gun. And I wanted to go back and look at this gun. So I've been playing it a lot lately. A lot. And it's a great primary slot CQC weapon. And once you get your sensitivity sorted, it's an absolute banger. The sensitivity is so easy with this thing. You literally just add like 10% to everything you've got on your standard M4 or AK, uh, M4 or Scar L. And you're going to come up with a winning combo. Is it fantastic at long range sprays? No, but it's not built to be fantastic at long range sprays. What it's built to do is close range CQC ADS or close range CQC hip fire. You can spray with it. You can spray with it, but it's not the recoil that kills it. The reason the M416 and the Scar L and the Org are so successful at spraying is not that they have no recoil. It's that they have 900 to 937 meters a second bullet speed. That is what creates the accuracy in the weapons. If you have 666 meters a second bullet speed, you're not going to be very accurate. It means you have to lead the target by an awful lot. The Honey Badger doesn't do that very well. But 666 seconds meters a second is outstanding for a CQC hipfire weapon. It's a kind of thing that just means you really don't have to worry too much about the bullet getting there earlier. And in PUBG Mobile, that's what's so important. What do I mean by that? Well, you're fa playing UMP versus Honey Badger, right? Um, if you both fire rounds at exactly the same time, pointing at each other's chest, and all your rounds hit, then the Honey Badger wins because the rounds get there quicker. And the other guy's rounds don't count anymore. And that just means you've got a solid, solid CQC weapon that can work really, really well in hip fire and in the mid range, and it won't let you down. I have been a little bit, a little bit disappointed that more people don't play this gun, but we're in the meta right now of UMP and DBS. Like people are just loving shotguns and people are just loving the UMP. I mean, and that's fair enough. The player base can love whatever it wants and do whatever it wants. But the fact of the matter remains that if you want to do something a little bit different, if you want to play a little bit different, try it out. Give it a shot. And I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised. Just because you haven't seen a whole bunch of Honey Badger highlights and people don't run it all the time, doesn't mean it's not good. It just means that it's not nearly as popular as other guns. If you're running M416 uh, and UMP and it works, you're very unlikely to change. Something else you'll notice with this gun is it's basically got the M416's iron sight, which is an outstanding iron sight. So I really enjoy that. Like it kicks as an iron sight. It's one of the best iron sights in the game. And I'm doing so much without even talking about the other feature, which is the suppressor of the Honey Badger. Uh, it's not silent like a VSS. It's not silent like a... UMP is with the suppressor or a bison with the suppressor, but it's a lot quieter than an M4 or a barrel or an AK. And you can run this. This is a funny loadout, this Honey Badger and UMP. And it's just like two CQC weapons in one little bundle. <laughs> they are so interchangeable for me. These two guns are absolutely so interchangeable. Um, so simple too. You don't have to worry about an attachment with the Honey Badger. You can put anything on it, like a thumb, uh, not a thumb grip, a um, muzzle brake, a compensator, obviously great, but you can double down with a suppressor or a flash hider. All of them work as I break the second freaking <laughs> revive on McDingaling and poor old dingers. Yeah. Anyway, give it a go. You're going to be happy. You're going to be surprised. You're going to be pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Oh
I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. And until next time, bye for now.